Welcome back to the show, and our playlist is all about lower cross postural distortion. I'm Dr. Donald Fabio. So let's talk about stretching those tight muscles when you get that sway back, either statically or dynamically when you move, all right? One of the areas that's going to be really tight is your low back extensors. A great way to do that is using a stretch band seated. So take your CLX band and hook it on the, the sturdy chair, okay, so you can't use a stool or something wobbly, on the back part of the uh, back leg of the chair. Now the erector spinae is over here, it's in here, all right? So that's what you want to stretch. So first we're going to contract it, okay, so Mike's going to pull on the band and engage those muscles and give a little rotation and then he's gonna let the band pull him back and stretch. Now you notice he's staying relatively erect, so let's do it together, Mike. I'm gonna pretend I got a band. He's gonna pull to get some contraction in that erector spinae, then you're gonna let the band stretch you over. You're not getting a lot of flexion because that's gonna put pressure on the discs. A great way to stretch the erector spinae, you have to do both sides, Pull for maybe a count of five to eight and stretch it for a good count of 10, all right? Really let the elastic resistance create that stretch. Uh, another really good erector spine stretch is the dead bug position. So let's go on your back, please, Mike. Now, one of the things, and, and you need to watch the whole uh, dead bug playlist, the whole progression, that video, that's strengthening these muscles, but the first step is just pushing your back flat against the bottom of the floor. That will relax the erector spinae, and when you do it with your legs up here and your arms straight to the ceiling and push down, you're getting core strengthening, but it is stretching those erector spinae, so that's your second erector spinae stretch. However, relax for a second, we're also going to need to uh, work on stretching the hip flexors, and we'll show you that in a moment. And uh, the, should we go, let's do the uh, sideline uh, uh, erector spine. Let's do lats first, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, the lats are also going to be very tight when you um, have that lower cross postural distortion. One of the best ways to lengthen them is with your foam roller, right? This one happens to have a little pad on it for extra protection, but Mike, I think you can go straight without the pad. So show everybody how you can get on the lats with the, so the lats are in here, right? To give you that V shape on the athlete's gymnast that's got that big V shape. Thumb is up. And you see how Mike's leaning slightly back towards me, and it's right up underneath the armpit right there. And you'll feel it, okay? When you foam roll, you roll back and forth, you look for the area that's tight. Once you find it, you set on it for about 30 to 40 seconds. That just releases the muscle. It's a self-myofascial release, works really great. So make sure you stretch or foam roll, sorry Mike. <laughs> Foam roll your lats, okay? How many fingers do I have up, Mike? Seven. All right, you're fine, no <laughs> concussion. Um, so let's make sure you hit the lats. And then lastly, we need to do those hip flexors. So let's stand up. We'll do this together. We can, do, we can uh, watch, and we also have a hip flexor stretch under our running video, but um, you'll do, you do front and I'll do, you decide I'll do front. So do a nice stride, but the back foot's gotta be slightly toed in. You don't want it out here. It's got to be slightly toed in. You don't have to be like this. You can have a, a wide gait, but the back foot slightly toed in. Very important. Posterior pelvic tilt. Set that butt down. All right. You got to get that. And then you're going to start to notice a little bit of tension. This is where we want to get it. Now you drive. You can reach out. Reach first. Reach up. Drive that knee forward keeping the posterior pelvic tilt, and then a little bit of twist away. And if you're feeling it right here, you're doing it right. That's gonna be your hip flexor, your iliopsoas, as opposed to your rectus femoris, okay? So, we have hip flexor stretches, we have lat foam rolling, we have erector spinae stretches. Those are the stretches that you need to do 
to loosen up the muscles are tight when you have that lower cross distortion, either with activity or just normal posture. The next video we're going to have is going to be about strengthening those weaker muscles. So put it all together and then you'll be empowered to make some changes in your posture. I'm Dr. Donald DeFabio with Mike. Thanks for tuning in.